So what's going on guys, it is GM, it is Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel. So Alexander Povetkin defeats Andrei Videnko by a wide 12 round unanimous decision. Two judges scored the fight, 120-108 to Povetkin and one judge scored it, 120-109. To perfect Kin, so two judges scored every round to perfect Kin, and one judge gave Redenko a round in the fight. So it was what it was from Alexander Povetkin. He was there dropping that trademark left hook like he always throws in fights. And the fight nearly ended in the first round because Redenko got hit in the back of the neck. And I don't know, it looked like he didn't want to come out for the second round. Like he was there in his corner for about five minutes there trying to recover because he said the shot to the neck hurt him but he came back out and Povetkin just got on with it and it was just business as usual for Alexander Povetkin he was landing uppercuts for the first half of the fight Alexander Povetkin he was there with that right jab left hook and then came back with the uppercut but Redenko has got a solid chin like he's just one of these guys with Denko he needs to go in there with a sledgehammer to do him because you're not going to knock him out like some of the shots Povetkin were landing looked like they could knock a horse out but Redenko was there taking the shots like this is the same Redenko who lost a 10 round unanimous decision to Huey Fury a couple of years back and it was very one sided from Alexander Povetkin there was a bit of clinching in this fight as well but Povetkin was punching out of the clinchers and doing well like that. He was landing body shots later on in the fight. And in the 12th round, he looked like he was trying to get the stoppage against Redenko. I think he was trying for the knockout throughout the fight in bursts. But Redenko was a very tough man. And he was having his spells as well. Redenko, he was landing some good single shots in the middle rounds especially. But... Just nothing that really affected Alexander Povetkin and Alexander Povetkin was doing the better work. So yeah, Povetkin gets another victory. But will he get a shot at a heavyweight title? Will a champion get in the ring with Alexander Povetkin because of all the controversy surrounding him with all the drug test failures and stuff like that? And it'd be interesting to see if a heavyweight champ will fight Alexander Povetkin because he is a very good fighter, he's what, 37, 38 years old, and he still looks very good, and he still looks very dangerous, Alexander Povetkin, he hits very hard, but the only thing that will give heavyweights an advantage against Alexander Povetkin is that he is a small heavyweight, he is what, only six foot two. whereas guys like John A. Wilder and Anthony Joshua are six foot six. so they will have that size advantage, and they hit very hard as well, and we saw how... Povetkin got on against Vladimir Klitschko a few years back in that horrible fight. Like Vladimir Klitschko was a lot bigger than him and all he was doing all night against Povetkin was clinching. But yeah, Alexander Povetkin looked well in this fight. His opponent was limited. He had his moments but it was business as usual from Alexander Povetkin. So yeah, comment below in the comment section. It is JM, it is speedboxing.